So I'm just back from work. It was a very long shift. It, like it wasn't, but it felt like it because I only had like three hours sleep. Just because with this cold, it's like making it so difficult for me to breathe. Like <laughs> I feel, I just, I'm just so out of breath constantly at the moment. Um, but it's roasting outside, so I've changed into a like flowy summer dress and swimsuit. And I'm gonna go in a like little swimming pool to cool down because it is it really is really warm. So yesterday evening, um, we ended up having to take Tigger, our cat, to the vets because she was panting like really fast, like she was breathing really fastly, um, and salivating a lot, um, and. It was a really hot day, so at first we thought she was just like overheating, um, but it, she didn't seem right, she didn't look right. So we brought her to the vet, um, and then last night we got a call back from the vets because um, we had to just leave her there. Um, and they said that she had a hole in her lungs, so there was a lot of um, there was a lot of pressure build up uh, which was why she was having trouble breathing sorry for the shakiness by the way um, it's not good roads around here but yeah so apparently they they are sure that she got hit by something um, because they, there is an impact point um, but she's also the epitome of a scaredy cat like she as soon as she hears um, any sort of vehicle or anything she runs for the hills um, so that doesn't really make any sense but I mean there's always a possibility we'll never know for sure what happened like, she might have just fallen and hit something who knows um, but yeah I'm currently on my way to work it's only to eight at the moment um, and we're supposed to call the vets again at about nine-ish to see how she did overnight and then hopefully we'll be picking up today which is really good but yeah that was slightly terrifying because um, she definitely wasn't right and obviously that's why she was having a lot of trouble breathing um, but yeah so roasting hot and I'm wearing all black we are just about to go and pick up Tigger which would be really good um, she was absolutely fine throughout the night so we're able to go and pick her up now although dreading how much it's actually going to cost is there anything actually good to there? Yeah. Ooh, Okay. Oh, time to jump into this since I've taken all that stuff out. <laughs> it's freezing. So, so lovely though. Oh, that was so needed after such a oh, oh, like a long day at work and it's such a hot day like it's like in the in the 20s anyway um I'm not sure what exactly but definitely at least 25 oh I needed to cool down and that definitely helped it is so glorious today though makes this garden look beautiful as well Ooh, look how pretty Oh my goodness. Oh, I got a, a nose ring as well, although it's way too big. I want a smaller one, I think. Ooh, it's bright. Um, yeah, I thought it would be smaller than it actually is. But it's the first time I've actually changed my nose piercing since I got it done. 
and it was just from Argos, it was actually quite cheap but like it's still like sterling silver um, but yeah I want to try and find a smaller one I think <laughs> seems a bit too big for my nose I don't know it is growing on me the more I have it on though so oh my god so these last couple of days have just been so hot um I'm just making some breakfast Ooh. yeah and I've been working in a deli all week um the whole time and it's oh my god it's actually insane it's too much but oh well it's so stressy because with being a dollar we sell salads and everything and with it being so hot everyone is coming in at lunchtime and it has been non-stop to the point where I'm literally getting spots <laughs> like from stress oh my god it's actually insane um like we keep running out of food and everything it's so bad Definitely doesn't make me want to go to work, not gonna lie. So far every day I've had to come home and just like dunk myself in the pool. It just like wakes me up a bit more, makes me feel just a little bit more human. <laughs> because that deli definitely drains the life out of me. Um, when it's busy anyway, like it's fine when it's not that busy, but when it is, it's terrible. All right, I need to make this toast before I leave for work. I wonder what temperature it is now. At least 30, if not 30. It did say, um, when I looked up this morning, it said it'd be like 31 degrees, but. <sighs> That's so much nicer in the shade. It's 29. Really? Yeah. Oh, I might buy uh, sandals, like flip flops as well. Ooh, I love that colour. I don't really feel like I need to though. Although, 175 for two. <laughs> Makes me want two. <laughs> Why is it only like medium? That's not shoe size, <laughs> it's clothes size. Five as well from Dunn stores, which is awesome. And then I picked up ooh, this swimsuit. It was one of the only ones that didn't that wasn't like um, a bra shape, which I didn't want. So got this, which the top was two pounds, and then the bottom was two pounds which is such a good value and then I just picked up some black socks because I only have two pairs and with working in Delhi pretty much um, like five days a week six some weeks I needed more socks <laughs> um, especially in this weather and they were only 250 so bargain I'm also now from today till Sunday, so Thursday to Sunday, looking after my godparents' cat Serena and also their granny's cat Cornflakes um, because they're away in London. So I'm actually staying up at their house. So I need to feed them this evening as well. Jump in the pool, go and feed them, whatever. So this is what we ended up making instead. We've got rice, 
tofu that I fried with cornstarch on it, kidney beans, and then we've got um, some chopped up peppers, some frozen fruit, like tropical fruit, and then some crispy onions because they're amazing. So summary. So needed. Like the tops, don't like the bottoms of these. But. So it's Friday morning and I have the weekend off, so I am so happy it's my last day at work today. It has been such a long and busy week, but yeah, I'm just currently in my godparents' house. Serena is. Serena is just there having some food. Um, and it's only like six something in the morning at the moment. Yeah, 6.45. I've got 15 minutes before I need to head off for work because I'm starting work at half seven this morning. But yeah, it's so warm up here because it's like the top of a house and oh, is it boiling? Last night was very, very warm. Yesterday in general it was really hot, but... Pool time. I booked read as well. Oh, it is gorgeous weather out here. Cornflakes. There's one of the cats I'm looking after. Ew. I've literally just been lying on this, reading the second book of Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, which is the restaurant at the end of the universe. Absolutely hilarious. I'm nearly finished. I've got like a little bit left. Um. But yeah, I've literally been either lying in that or dunking myself in the pool. <laughs> because it is just so, so hot, like, absolutely blue skies. And it's amazing. Mm. Loving this so much. I'm free this weekend now, so I'm literally going to do this the whole weekend. 